Hey everybody and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons for another By Request song tutorial. In today's session I'm going to be breaking down my approach to playing the acoustic rendition of AHA's 1984 classic Take On Me. I'm going to take you through the intro section with a little bit of picking, then I'll show you the changes for the verse and the chorus sections and also the instrumental section. As always, I have resources available for you, a full tab and chord sheet at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. You can support the channel there with a dollar a month and gain access to resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now let's get started with a full demonstration, then I'll break it down for you step by step. One, two, three, four. I don't know what I'm to say, I said anyway Today's another day to find you shying away I'll be coming for your love, okay Okay, close look at the fretboard and also my pick in hand. We're getting started with our intro section. I'm in standard tuning, I have a capo here on the second fret, and I'm actually in the key of A major. Okay, that G chord coming up a whole step thanks to the capo makes it A major. Okay, so that intro section is gonna sound like this, real slow. It would repeat a second time. throw in an arpeggio pattern on that C walk down to get you into the verse. Okay, so I took an A minor chord. I start by hitting the root, then I'm going to strum through the chord 
probably just hitting the D and the G string, then the B string first fret, open B, and then the first fret B again. That's that little melody line that you're familiar with from the original track. Next, we're going to grab a chord called D major slash F sharp. It's just a regular old D chord, but with your thumb wrapped around to the second fret of the low E string. Hit that low root first on the second fret low E, strum the chord, then we're going to pluck the B string third fret, which is already fretted inside of the D chord. You put those two chords together, we have. All right, very, very cool transition. A minor, and when you take that index finger off, it's A sus two. And the D slash F sharp. Next we have a G major chord. Hit the root first, strum the chord, then we're going to play B and G open. So far you have. All right, then we're on to the C major chord. For the first go around, we're just gonna give it a strum. Then we're going to strum the C slash B. Okay, so that is the middle finger on the second fret of the A string. Your index finger is still planted on the first fret relative to the capo of the B string. All right, you put all that together, the first go around of the intro. You're gonna repeat everything you just did up into the C chord. The G. All right, then go to the C major chord. This is just something I like to throw in just for a little extra flavor. Arpeggiate the chord. All right, then arpeggiate the second chord. And I'm going down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Because that allows me that last upstroke gets me back to the, uh, the root note of the next chord. Just letting the pick fall. If you want to go down, up, down, up, that's perfectly fine too. All right, then we'll get you into the verse. We're talking away. I don't know what I'm to say. I'll say it anyway. And it's gonna be basically the same exact progression. Okay, great work everybody. You have the intro section down. Now we're jumping into the verse section. We're going to have the exact same chord progression. That A minor chord for a measure. The D slash F sharp for a measure the G major chord for a measure, and then splitting a measure up, we have the C to C slash B. So two beats each, transitioning back down to A minor for a repetition. So that'll sound like this. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, G. One, two, three, four, C, C slash B. Repeat. Okay. Now let's talk about strumming. If you want a very easy way of playing through this song, I suggest employing your pop strumming pattern. Some people call it a calypso pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. But for a short walk down transition pattern, we're gonna go down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, so let's give that a go. We're gonna go through the entire chord progression with that pop strumming pattern. One, two, three, A minor. To the G. Down, down, up, down. Let's do it again. A minor. G slash F sharp. G. Okay, so now let's polish that up, add a little bit more of a professional feel by throwing in some picking options. So, the A minor chord, I like to do exactly what I said, the pop strumming pattern. But sometimes I like to just focus on the low strings for that first beat. Down, down, up, up, down, up. On occasion, I like to swap out some of those strums for some picked notes, single picked notes. So the root note, A string, a strum of the chord. 
High E string, B string, G string, B string. Nice little cross picking pattern there. Okay, always remember that. Hold on to that pattern because it's very useful. All right, on that D slash F sharp, I could just do the uh, pop strumming pattern, but maybe I'll employ what I did in the intro section. Okay, because I can hear that lead guitar player playing that a lot in that acoustic rendition that's very popular right now. Okay, the G major chord can just get the pop strumming pattern, but let's focus on the low root first. All right, and then the C major chord, down, down, up, down, down, up, or you can pick it apart. Just like we did in the intro. So, employ as much of the intro as you feel uh, sounds good and feels comfortable, uh, or just keep it nice and simple with the down, down, up, up, down, up pattern. Okay, now that you've got some strumming and picking options, let's apply it to the verse lyrics. We're talking away. I don't know what I'm to say. I'll say it anyway. Today's another day to find you. I'm shy. Now here's where it changes. If you're following along using my chord sheet at patreon.com slash swiftlessons, we're not gonna go to the G major chord here. We're going to uh, throw in a variation. We're substituting the G major for E minor. I'll be coming for you. The E minor chord gets a measure. And then the C major chord, love okay. All right, so that's a beautiful change. Going from A minor, shining away. I'll be coming for your love, okay? All right, so just giving a pop strumming pattern to E minor and C major to transition to the chorus section. Okay, moving right along, we got through the intro, the verse, now we're jumping into that iconic chorus. I'm gonna demonstrate through the entire chord progression with my strumming pattern, then I'll break it down for you. Getting started with my G major chord fretted. One, two, three, four. rings out to get us back into the verse. Okay, so there's a lot of different strumming options that we can use for this progression, but I'm gonna go with um, a very basic progression that I employed in my Let It Be lesson. So, the G major chord, we're gonna strum. Down, 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 up. Then transition to a B minor bar chord. All right, no reason to be afraid of this chord. We have the bar on the second fret. Our thumb is nice and low, so that way the index finger straightens. Then, I'm gonna set up my minor shape. My ring finger in my pinky, fourth frets of the D and the G string, and my middle finger on the B string, third fret. Your B minor bar chord, and also every other bar chord, minor bar chord in the book. All right, just moving fret to fret. So, the G major chord. After that B minor, we have the E minor getting the exact same strumming pattern. I'll strum it one more time, and then transition to a D major chord for a down, up, down. Put all that together, we have. All right, with that sneak attack D chord, getting us into the next repetition. The G chord comes back. The E minor chord. This time, sneak attack C chord. All right, then the G chord. Substitute that B minor chord for a B7. All right, this is a chord that absolutely every guitar player needs to learn. Middle finger on the second fret of the A string, first finger, first fret of the D string, the ring finger, second fret of the G string, and the pinky second fret of the high E. Okay, what a beautiful change that is. All right, so that is. All right, 
right, so just the G chord down, down, down a B7, down, down a B minor. All right, then C major chord, I like to let this chord just ring out. In a day then we're gonna apply that same strumming pattern to the G, to the D, to the C, and a ring out on the D major chord gets you back into the verse. Okay, great work everyone. After that first chorus, we have the second verse. It's going to be played the exact same way as the first verse. Then that is followed by the second chorus. It'll be played the exact same way as the first chorus, but it will get us into the instrumental section. And that's our next stop. Okay, jumping into the instrumental section, this is basically the last thing that you need to learn in order to be able to perform. And it's gonna be exactly like the intro section with a small variation at the end. So we get started the exact same way. Then we're gonna have the A minor chord to that D. The F sharp in the bass twice. And I like to utilize my cross picking method there. Hitting the root on the A minor chord, strumming down to the B string. Then we're going to play an E string, B string, G string. If I have time, back to the B string. Grabbing the thumb note. And I'll apply the exact same picking pattern onto that D slash F sharp, or I can just do what I did in the intro section to that chord. So you put that together, we have. All the things that you say gets you into the next verse. All right, great work everybody. You have the intro, the verse, the chorus down, and also the instrumental section. You're basically ready to perform. The only other thing that you might want to take a look at is the final chorus, which is doubled, but they go through a very specific set of chords in order to do that. So it starts off the exact same way, the G chord. Take on me. Sneak attack D. Taxi. The B7, E minor, let it ring, C chord, in a day or then, instead of going all folky with that uh, progression G, D, C, D, they're going to continue on using that chorus progression. Two, B minor, Ooh, C, then repeat the end of the chorus. I'll be gone. See in a day of repeat the progression. To the C chord in a day of. Then we're gonna end it with G. To B minor and straight to C, which kind of you kind know, of kind of creates a little bit of a cliffhanger. But we are in the key of G, so you could also resolve it back to G. All right, everybody, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on AHA's Take On Me. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's a song that you'd like for me to teach next, you can click through the link in the description to swiftlessons.com, put in that request today. And I want to thank my patrons for all the support. Hope you're enjoying the extra resources. Thank you for making these lessons possible. I got many more videos coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia, saying happy picking.